Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me in today's video where I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Violet. Now then, in the last video, we had just activated the first terminal of Area Zero, and found yet another random Pokeball in the middle of the room. I don't know why there are always random Pokeballs in the middle of the room, but there are. So anyway, it's time to activate the second terminal, so let's hop right in. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. What is wrong, Arvin? Are you grumpy? Wonder if my dad ever worked here. Arvin, buddy, I love you, but that's the stupidest question I have ever heard. Of course he worked here. Looks like you could get a decent rest on the bed here if you and your team get tired. Although it looks kind of mildewy. It's a freaking block! If you knocked on that thing, it would sound like wood! You've determined that this energy crystallization is linked to the being we call... The interlocking hexagonal place, the compromised... Shells must somehow cause this phenomenon. Which I've dubbed terastalizing. Mm. Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabapoco. And someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that's him. Okay, now where the heck is the next lab? I, I almost never saw my dad in my whole life. Oh. Is it time for the backstory reveal? Penny, shh. Crap, I forgot how fast they talked. He was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Mavis was the only one I could talk to. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know him at all, even if he is my dad. I try not to think too much about it. Try to just because that he was a famous dude. But the truth is, I would rather just have a dad. I haven't seen him for ages now, unless you kind of see him in the news or whatever. You used to get an email sometime, but even though it stopped a couple of years ago. And then there he appears out of the blue and tells me you've got to come to Area Zero. Some family, right? <coughs> oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry. Uh, Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. <laughs> Don't call me a pip squeaky big lunk. That's the spirit, you two! Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to get... I got about this far, then I got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? I want to say things! I wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like this crazy weird metallic. You sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, robot than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt Mavistiff real bad. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Demona, you know that? Oh! My pajamas! I didn't get a single chance to talk. I couldn't even think. I just had to keep speaking. There's a fair chance I missed a lab somewhere up there. Yeah. The second research station. About time, too. Where's the enemy? I know there's gonna be an enemy. Where is it? Phew! Let's... Let's head in and... Take a breather. <sighs> I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment, you know. Hmm. Hey, look! A deli bird! It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. That's not a deli bird! That's not a deli bird! <laughs> Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> what the? What? 
Crominator, it's battle time! Bring it! Pathetic bed! You do not stand a chance! Against my prime evil monstrosities! Oh no, I'm gonna do it again, aren't I? Sorry about this! It must be done! Wait, are you a No, you're steel type. You're steel ice, I believe. Please tell me you're not a flying type. Please, please tell me you're not a flying type. <sighs> did, um did Umbreon even do anything there? Alright, I guess close combat is my best bet. I thought that, I thought that would be super effective, because I remembered... Oh, but if this thing is an ice type, then it would have resistance to earth. Alright, yeah, makes sense. Well, that was easy. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. What did you expect from a wild animal? Even if it wasn't a mechanical bird, it's a wild animal. It was definitely kind of mechanical looking for a deli bird, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. Alright, let's head in. And then we'll activate the second terminal and... That'll be that! I think we're... We're already like two-thirds of the way through. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon... I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these? It was a Mecha Bird. Huh? What's that book? As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokémon. Though we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokémon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Ah, uh, yeah! The guy who got murdered! Huh. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it is biologically separate, to say nothing of its treads of iron. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. They're Pokemon, sort of. What do you think, Crominator? I don't think they're regular Pokemon. They're still Pokemon, just not regular Pokemon. Hmm, maybe. They definitely do look different, at least. I've never seen one of them in a Pokedex I either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. What the hell, man? Where did you come from? Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are future Pokemon that lived in a distant day we have yet to see. Ah, yes. Just casually mention the breaking of space-time. It all makes sense. So sensical. Much sense. Wow, sense. Or oh, sense. Future Pokemon? What? That's awesome! It is kind of cool, honestly. It, it, it is kind of cool. Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. Just another little bombshell dropped like that. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? The cost? 
but a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. I want to go to the future. I have plot armor, so I can always return. Dad, that's... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Hmm. Now then, Crominator, please use the central panel there and disable another lock on my lab. Can do! And- Oh! Oh god, there are two buttons. Wait. <laughs> what? He didn't tell me which button to press. What happens if I press the button, but I press the wrong one and I end up launching a nuke? You heard the professor. Better press it. Two of the four locks are disabled. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hey, Crominator. You know that book he told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Arvin. My man. Are you dumb? Of course it does! What? Dude, come on! Just use common sense! I don't even use common sense and I can use common sense to solve this. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one he expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Oh! Sweet! I think. Take care of it for me, okay, Crominator? Nice. Alright, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel down in the description below. And be sure to leave a comment on what you enjoyed. But anyway, hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye.